Uh, Bishop Mark, uh, if you could tell me a little bit about what we're announcing today and, and how happy you are to be able to make such an announcement uh, with, with our funerals. Well, it's been a long and difficult journey through the first part of this pandemic, and we're, we're so pleased finally to be able to say to families who have lost a loved one, we'll, we'll join you in offering the Mass for your loved one, and we'll be able to be with you at the vigil at the funeral home as well. We've been celebrating the uh, graveside services with a very small number, but now because the uh, number of cases in our region have declined, we believe it's safe to be able to gather up to 75 people in our church, our, whatever church that, that um, uh, where the funeral is celebrated, and we'll be able to um, accompany these families. As far as uh, protocols are concerned, what exactly does the protocol call for? Is it 25%? How, how does it work? We decided to take a little different approach here rather than the percent capacity because we still feel we need to keep the numbers down to a more manageable level. And so 75 maximum at any of our churches. Excellent. So uh, 75 people, correct? Right. Okay. Um, so uh, what would you like the people of the diocese to know, maybe those that had lost a loved one throughout the pandemic and weren't able to, to have a funeral, what, what would you say to those people? Well, our heart breaks for those who have lost loved ones during the course of these last 10 months or so that we have not been able to celebrate uh, funeral masses. Uh, what we have been saying all along is that we would like to gather with you and to offer a memorial mass for your loved one. So now might be a good time to be approaching your parishes and trying to get something scheduled down the road so that a mass can be offered with you for your loved one, uh, even though it might be some time since his burial or her burial. Um, since the pandemic started, uh, it's been almost a year. Is there a message you have to the Catholic faithful that maybe have had difficulties throughout this pandemic, including those that have lost a loved one? Uh, what would you say to them uh, just as a, as, a, as a sign of hope or as a sign of faith? Well, one thing for us Christians is that we know that the following of Jesus always involves the cross. And we don't say that lightly. We know that means real suffering, real pain. And this pandemic has certainly brought that reality as well as the fragility of this life to, to light for us. Uh, what we can say is that even in the midst of those sufferings, even in the midst of that heavy cross, we know that the Lord is, is close. He is alongside us and never leaves us alone. He's especially present when we need him most. So, so trust him. That would be my message. Know that God can bring good even from this trial. Moving forward, what are the plans if the numbers go up? Do we have anything preliminary as far as uh, funerals being rolled back? Is, is that even a conversation? We'll always keep our eyes on the numbers of cases in our region. More importantly, we look at the number of people being hospitalized, and we feel we have to do our part to avoid any possibility of contagion if, if those numbers are getting dangerously high again. So yes, we'll be watching it, and we'll also be tracking whether people are able to follow the protocols that we've set up, which will be explained by the priest or deacon and funeral home directors we, we need to have a high level of compliance to make sure that these gatherings are safe.